Welcome back to my channel, like Jules. Look at the background. Look at the lights. <laughs> my brother came through hard, guys. I got my own little studio going on, so you ain't got seen that blue cupboard around. Mm -hmm. Just be focus on me. Focus on me. Hey, hey, focus on me. <laughs> well, you guys. Thank you for my little brother for you know hooking us up. It's about to be lit. The YouTube's about to be lit. So I don't have to struggle with the sun. I can shoot anytime. I can shoot at night times, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. You know, with my other videos, I was struggling with lightning. Lightning, lightning, guys. I was struggling with that. I had to put it in front of the the window in my room. And the ring light. And then you know when the sun keeps changing up and down, you know, the quality starts changing. It goes darker, it goes brighter, you know, it's like bling 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 bling. <laughs> so then I was just like, yeah, I don't to struggle with that. Thank God. God is awesome. My family is beautiful and I love you guys all. Thank you guys so much. They're here to provide the best quality for y'all. So we're gonna start with this song called Best Quality by Caesar Luck. Mm, this guy's awesome. Dance hall. Beautiful song. Best quality. Hey, just because of all of this, I'm playing this song, guys. Best quality. Check it out here. Okay. No, I have to make a different video. <laughs> I can't stay still. I cannot stay still. Mm -mm. You'll find that single on Spotify, iTunes, and all the other platforms of music. But anyways, welcome back to my channel, and Jules. Warm welcoming to my new and Jules. Welcome to another lit video. No, it's not that lit, but yeah, it's a story time. A story time, my first story time. I don't have a lot of story times, but this one, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I had to say. Before we begin with this video, please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it around. I know it. <laughs> it's not that good to be shared, but yeah, if you want to share it, all right, no worries. But, anyways, this is a story time of fighting. For a man or a boy or whatever <laughs> I'm gonna, it's all right i'm gonna put it that way anyways but yeah that's the topic guys as you can see we're ready for it so yeah we'll begin by um this is something to do with my past partner you know it started by you know when we used to be in a relationship he was talking with this woman he was talking with this woman that was like nearly at the end when he was about to leave um for those that don't know my story for um i'll link it i'll just put it in the top here link coming up yeah and you can check it out how i got over a six years relationship and this is a part of it <laughs> this is a part of it but yeah anyways the story begins with he used to talk to this woman when we used to live together. So, that woman is actually my cousin. Came and found out she's my cousin. But yeah, came and found out. And then they were talking. And you know how guys would be like, yeah, don't worry about it. We're just friends and nothing's going on. But women knows. Hmm? When a woman knows, we know. <laughs> something ain't right we know it's suspicious but you know what 
I was like, okay. But when we went out as a family, the church, there was a time I went to church and she was there. There was that vibe, you know, of having to avoid me. Like, the back of my head, I was like, if there's nothing going on, then, you know, what's going on? You know, like, why is she avoiding me? And I thought, it's all good. We'll continue with our relationship. It wasn't going well, it's going downhill, you know. But yeah, that part, he actually ended up leaving. If you haven't heard my story, I'll put it up here again so you guys can check it out. But yeah, he left. And there was, you know, rumors going around that, you know, he's actually moved on with this girl and all of that. So I was actually hurting at that time, but yeah. I had to find out myself so I was like okay like if I know her house I'll go there by myself and actually go and ask her what's going on but I didn't know her house so there was a time that my cousin my cousin was coming from Brisbane and I used to live in Ipswich so the only way for her she didn't know my house so she wanted to come and visit me and the kids so she didn't know my house and I told her to um, to get to Ipswich, you have to go to Maruka Way or the other, to Wong Way. So she was like, okay, Maruka Way. She knows Maruka Way. So I should meet her in Maruka. So at that time, it was about lunchtime, 12 o'clock. So I went to Maruka. She wasn't there. She, like, she wasn't there. So I was waiting for her with my, um, my brother's wife. We were waiting for her. At that time, I went and got meat anyways, just to, you know, get it out of the way. Because we're in Maruka already. That's where we get our meat, African people. <laughs> That's where all our African stuff based food and everything. But yeah. So yeah, my before my cousin ended up coming, I bumped into her. I didn't bump into her, but I bumped I found her at the meat shop. She was sitting down, so I walked in with my with my brother's wife and I had my son. You know, I was holding my son. So like my brother's wife walked in shook hands with the there was two ladies that was on the left side and then she was sitting down you know on her phone so I walked in after following my brother's wife and then having to get to to say hi to the other women I have to start with her so I was like okay I think this is my chance for me to speak to her and what's going on you know so I went and tap her on the shoulder and say you know I want to talk to you you know <laughs> like can I talk to you you know and damn I got a hardcore slap that I didn't see it coming and I was holding my son <laughs> you know if I wanted to attack her she wouldn't have gone in that where she was sitting but I didn't have anything, you know, I didn't I didn't come to fight, like I wasn't there like to fight her, you know? Because if I wanted to fight her, she would have been finished on the floor, she wouldn't have gotten up. But yeah, she got up like, out of the blue, like pow on my face, like uh, oh, what the, why did you why did you slap me? Why did you slap me? Blah blah blah. She's going crazy, like why did you slap me? Why did you slap me? I'm just there like oh shit, you know, I, I couldn't like I couldn't hold back. She was yelling that way. And I had to find somebody to hold my son. So these two ladies that was here, I handed my son and they go, one of them hold him. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't hold back too because that slap was like, whoa, okay. I can't let that one go. So I went in. Boop, boop, boop. Like, you know, I don't slap, I punch. <laughs> it's actually the first lady I fought in my life. I never fought ladies. I used to fight with guys when I was uh, in my childhood. I fought with my brothers and that's it. I never fought with my sisters. Physically. <laughs> so this one was the first woman to get this fist. Oh my god, it was terrible because I felt it. it like, you know when you're angry? This was, this was self-defense. I call this self-defense because I'm holding my son and I got attacked. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Nah, one boop, 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 on the head. I was like, shit. And the lady that was trying to hold us, she came between us. That's what I'm saying. Like, if people are fighting, please do not come between. Them. Do not come between them, or you will receive those punches or slaps. 
So as I was going, punching her head, this lady coming to hold, hold it. So I could, I didn't even see her. You know, I was just going. You know, just my focus was just her. You know, fighting her. So they're trying to separate us, you know, she was going crazy. No, no, she couldn't even get to me, like she was trying to hit me, but she couldn't. <laughs> because my punches were so, were so strong, I? <laughs> I know, it's just something to laugh about, but yeah. This time, what can we do? So anyways, yeah, she, it went down like that, so like you know when someone lo lose a fight they go crazy on the other side so she was going crazy trying to like you know push everything off the shelf you know in that shop and those people are trying to like there's people trying to push her away you know i'm just there like standing let it come let it come you know people are holding it i'm saying let it come you know i wasn't going towards her because i didn't want to create any drama i already got my i already got my fist going on that's it if she was coming back to me again she would get more you know <laughs> So I was just standing there, all like, let her come, let her come, you know. And then people were pulling her away. They pushed her outside. You know, she was there going crazy, going crazy. I was like, okay. So they, um, I think some one of the locals called the cops. And yeah, the cops ended up finding her going crazy outside. So they went, they asked her, and they didn't end up coming and ask me. And at that time, her mother came in. And she was going off at me, you know, because of you, all of this is happening. And I told her out of respect, I told her out of respect, lady, if you want me to disrespect you, then keep talking. She, she, she reduced her tone a little bit. <laughs> she, because I know, she, I know she's not well, so there's no point of me attacking her and she doesn't have anything to do with this mine was just a self-defense if I wanted to fight I'll fight the whole family you know but yeah I didn't have anything to do with her so I, was, I just told her like lady if you want me to disrespect you then keep talking but she reduced her tone and kept going to buy what she wanted to buy I was like oh cool I just stood there waiting you know me and my brother's wife like I had to, I don't even know what time they handed me my son you know so I'm not sure if my cousin ended up coming I don't remember after that my brain is just you know all over the place so we ended up going home and uh, I think I ended up talking to my partner my ex-partner about this and yeah apparently she already went there and told him and telling people that she beat me up. <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but yeah, they were telling me that she beat me up, you know, all of this. And I was just like, it's all good. When people lose, they always have something to say to back themselves up. So I was like, it's all good. She already got her, she's probably got brain injury right now. But yeah, it's none of my business anymore. So yeah, he went out, spoke to my ex, and yeah, I told him what happened. So he was like, no, nah, apparently you didn't have a child on your hand. I was just like, hmm? After explaining everything to him, and he was like, well, she told me that you didn't have a child on your hand. And I started it. I was like, okay. I didn't want to explain myself anymore. I was just like, you know what? You guys go. I was like, you guys go. That was at the um, that was at that moment when I was going through the breakup, you know, and that shit happens, you know, everything just collided all together. I'm just like shit. I was in shit. I was feeling shit. But anyways, yeah, all that happened. So I was just like, you know what, you guys can go. I didn't tell them, but I I told myself that's it. I told myself you guys can go. I had to let go, and I was like because. If he was actually worth it, I'll fight for him. Like, damn, how dare you come and take my treasure? <laughs> I'll actually fight for him. But I was like, he ain't worth it, you know? Like, like, like I mentioned, what am I fighting for? You know, in my other video, like, what am I fighting for? There's nothing to fight for. He ain't worth it. So I was like, that's it. And yeah, that's what happens. That was 
a while ago so I have nothing to do with you guys anymore so I'm out but yeah like we're cool we're cool at the moment like we're not that cool but like she knows her line now she knows you know her boundaries she know where to stand she know where she stands now you know we see each other we see each other we, we, we go past each other in the community events in a cool way but we don't say hi to each other it's just a no no anymore <laughs> like it's just gone it's dead it's dead i don't have anything to do with her i don't have any fight in me at all and i've let them be yeah you know if you're going through breakup just try to control yourself <laughs> i know it's gonna be very hard but try to control yourself because everything will just trigger you you know everything will trigger you you just want to like you feel like shit you feel like shit especially if it's like the first relationship you oh my god Ooh. just stay away from anything bad as I mentioned in my in that video if you haven't seen that video it just explains pretty much everything you know so for those that are going through breakup just stay strong guys don't ever fight for men you know don't ever fight for men let that man fight for you because you know you're worth it you know and that man even if it's worth it there's no point of fighting because he will know he's for you so he will try to find a way not to make that fight a big war you know like in a mature way in a gentleman way you know so ladies do not fight for a man do not fight for a man i know my story sounded like i was fighting for a man but it is what it is it wasn't planned i wasn't in my heart it was i didn't do it intentionally <laughs> It just came out of the blues i had to defend myself but yeah so for the ladies out there if you want to start a fight with me don't do it physically <laughs> don't do it physically because i don't start fight physically but i defend myself i defend myself you can yip yap on the social media but that doesn't bother me because it's something to just ignore seeing and leave it there you know but physically you touch me physically oof, you will regret it it's just me i don't start fight but i finish it simple thank you guys so much for watching thank you for stopping by and god bless you all with your families abandonedly bye bye